What's up guys, if you follow along with this uh, series, you will be able to create a realistic uh, Lipton bottle uh, like this. So this is the first uh, part, we are going to start with modeling our basic uh, shape. Um, so let's first turn on my screencast so that you can look along with me on what buttons I click. Uh, let's click X to delete the default cube. Let's move this to, to another collection to have a clean viewport. So now we have a empty uh, viewport to uh, work with. Uh, let's click Shift A to add our background uh, reference image have it on my desktop. So we are going to create create a realistic uh, Lipton bottle like you see here. Click. Alt R to clear, clear the rotation, click R X and 90 degrees and then we are going to move it a little bit uh, above uh, the red line but now we can uh, see it in our whole viewport we can s but we don't want to see it when we model it so we are going to disable display perspective so we now only see it in uh, front view and that's what we want so we click shift A to add a mesh that looks the most like our bottle and that's a cylinder. I click shift Z to enter wireframe mode to move it a little bit. Then click tab to enter edit mode and then select the above vertices. Click G Z to extrude them just under the blue cap. We click Ctrl R to add a edge loop. Then we click S to scale it just along the edges. Then we click Ctrl R to add another edge loop. Then we click S to scale it along the edges as well. Then we uh, select the bottom vertices, click S to scale it, then we click Ctrl R to get the same shape as our bottle, move it a little bit on the Z axis down, GZ, then we uh, scale this one just because this is the inside of a bottle, it has to be just uh, before the cap. Then click Ctrl R and scale it. This one as well along the edges. And then click also Ctrl R so that we get the same shape as our reference image. We see a line here, so we add another edge loop. Click S to scale it a little bit. So and then here again an edge loop to get the exactly the same shape as our reference image. Then we create our last edge loop to get exactly uh, the same shape. So now we have our basic shape of our bottle. If we click Shift Z to enter solid mode, you can uh, see it. So uh, let's move this a little bit along the Y axis. This is just in front of in front of our background plane because when we enter control numpad seven, we want to see it. Uh, want to see the bottom view because we are now going to create this shape like that you have in bottles. Then we click tab to enter edit mode. Click on this one to enter edge mode. And then select and select edge loops and then click E S click again E S 
and then we're going to enter vertices mode click m to merge at center then we are going to go in face mode let's select the faces that we want to extrude so to get that shape click shift control shift control shift control shift control so when we, we are going to extrude these faces to get the same bottom shape as our reference image let's turn on center and edges to see our faces clearly you can see it much better now click G set yeah and then click tab to enter object mode and then we are gonna add a subdivision surface to see uh, how our bottle uh, looks then turn it to 3 and as you can see we have now the same shape maybe move it a little bit along the z-axis to get a more realistic shape so we have now the same there you go same bottom shape as our reference image now we're gonna disable uh, subdivision surface to work much faster then we're gonna delete the faces this face and as you can see our bottle looks now like paper so we're gonna add a little bit thickness to it with the solidify modifier so as you can see we have now a little bit of thickness uh, to a bottle and now we want to uh, create those edges that you can see uh, in a bottle so we have some edges it uh, doesn't look flat like ours now so we are going to create uh, those edges uh, now uh, we enter edit mode vertice mode and then we click ctrl r and then numpad 10 then we have 10 edge loops added then we enter face select mode and if you want you can select all those faces you know apart but we don't want to uh, do that we want to we don't want to select like this we want to select it much faster so if you are on a desktop you click alt and then on this line if you are on a laptop you click uh, control and then on those edge and then you click shift alt or control if you are on a laptop and we have selected those edges that we want to extrude then we click ES 1.02 then if we enter uh, our subdivision surface you can see we have the, uh, those edges but we can scale them a little bit more so click S to scale it and now we have the same edges that you can see uh, in a real uh, bottle and then we are gonna deselect everything except for the last uh, face loop that we selected and we're gonna exclude this a little bit too because you see in the reference image that the last face loop is a little bit uh, bigger so we are gonna scale this and now we have our basic shape of our bottle So, and uh, in the next series we are going to create like those shapes you see in the bottle and the cap um, so see you then in the next video